Hey LC, I'm Greta Siegert. And I'm Taylor Zazowski. And this is your sixth installment of Tribe TV. And we're going to check out Senior Night in the Sports Update. And lastly, we'll take a stop at Craigles. First current news story is Turkey launched airstrikes in northeastern Syria on Wednesday. Kurdish military leaders and eyewitnesses said Syria is promoting panic among the civilians in the region and despair among the fighters who have been crucial U.S. allies in the war on the Islamic State militant group. The long-awaited announcement came three days after President Donald Trump agreed to move American troops out of the region to clear the way for Ankara. There are no confirmed reports on how many airstrikes there were. With help from a big telescope and a little detective work, astronomers have discovered 20 new moons in orbit around Saturn. The discovery is announced Monday by the International Astronomical Union, bringing to 82 the total number of natural satellites known to be circling the sixth planet from the sun. A gas giant that's the second largest planet in our solar system, Saturn now has more moons known than any other planet. Jupiter, the largest planet and the previous record holder, has 79 known moons. Saturn's newfound moons are believed to have arisen after the formation of planets billions of years ago was mostly complete. Each has the diameter of about 5 kilometers or 3 miles. Now we're going to talk to Ms. Yeager about Rune. Rune is a creative arts magazine that any student or staff member can submit any type of creative artwork into. So the club will um, promote and get submissions and then as a group they decide what is quality level to go into the book. Um, we like submissions to be submitted early because if there's something that won't print well or come out well we have time to have the artist or the creator um, do it again or fix it up. Um, I have the final word to check what they're putting in to make sure that it all is not copyrighted, that it all is going to show well, that it is going to make the Rune magazine high quality. Um, but there is a committee that will select the work and then I give my input at the end. I'm not the person who started Rune, I inherited Rune. Um, I've been working at Lake Central since 1992 and around the year 2000 or the early 2000s, um, the teacher that was doing it before me decided she was going to let it go and so I took it over and applied for the job. I felt it was very important that we continue to promote creativity. So anything that can be considered creative can be submitted, so anything from like sculptures to short stories, poems, photography, and even videos can be submitted. So we can put in a QR code to your video. Say if you play an instrument, you can take a video of you yourself playing the instrument and then you can send that to us and we can even include things like that. Well, in the beginning of the year as we start it, Rune will be meeting once every other week. Uh, we're going to be learning the software to be able to put the publication together. We're learning how to adjust photos and how to do a page layout. And um, as the time comes closer for submission, we will be meeting more often, once a week. And then near the end, we often meet two or three times a week. Um, there is an email. It's rune at lcstudents.com. You can submit any of your digital work there. And if you have a physical piece of work, like a sculpture or a painting, you can bring that to Miss Yeager's room so we can take a picture of it to make sure that it prints at the highest quality possible. Anyone can submit to Rune, but being a member means that you help put the publication together and help design the actual magazine. So if you are interested in design or if you're interested in just being around a bunch of artwork, um, you can email rune at lcstudents.com and I can give you any information that you want about being a member or submitting. And yeah, I would appreciate any help. <laughs> Thank you.
make sure to check that out. Now we're going to kick it over to Sports Update. Congratulations to our cheer team for placing third at the Pendleton Heights competition this past week. Their next competition is at Northwoods High School. We also want to congratulate our Athlete of the Week, Samantha Miserly, for placing third in individual All-State. Unfortunately, our girls soccer team lost this past week against Crown Point with a final score of 3-2. We want to congratulate the ladies on a great season and we wish them the best moving forwards. The boys soccer team beat Highland in the semifinals of sectionals this past week. They will be playing in the sectional final on Saturday against Hammond Morton on Saturday at 2 p.m. Be sure to come out and support the boys soccer team as they look to capture a sectional championship. Make sure to come out this Friday to the burial grounds as the Lake Central Indians take on the Maryville Pirates. Giovanni, we sat down with a couple of uh, senior players. Let's check out what they had to say. What's up guys, my name is Matteo Sedano, I'm the quarterback for Lake Central. Uh, I'm, re I'm really excited for senior night, I've been waiting for it for a long time, but I know it's going to be a little bit emotional because uh, it's my last home game. Um, I really don't want football to come to an end, but I'm excited for it. Uh, my, my name is uh, Mark Henry Dirogin, and uh, I play defensive end. It's going to be like an emotional moment because um, just being there with your parent and just walking with them and just like when you're a younger guy and seeing all those seniors do it and just like thinking like one day that was going to be you and like the day is coming so it's like it's kind of surreal that you really didn't think it would happen but like it's happening and it's like last home game it's going to be kind of emotional. Hi, my name is Jesus, and I'm pretty excited for senior night because um, it's my last home game, and I really like football, and I can't wait to walk out there with my parents. If you can't make it to the burial grounds on Friday night to support the tribe, be sure to tune in to the live stream right here on the LCTV News YouTube channel. In other news, our boys tennis team lost the sectional championship against Crown Point this past week. Final score is 5 to nothing. Again, we want to congratulate the boys on a great season, and we wish them the best moving forwards. Both boys and girls cross country teams competed in the DAC Championship this past weekend. The boys placed fifth at the DAC Championship. Congratulations to the girls cross country team for winning the DAC Championship. The ladies won by two points. We want to wish them the best of luck in the postseason. The girls golf team wrapped up their season with a 12th place finish at the state finals this past weekend. We want to congratulate the girls on a great season and we wish them nothing but the best moving forward. Well, that's all for this week's sports update. I'm Javani Alcantar. And I'm Josh Burnett. We'll see you next week. Thanks for the update. Make sure to go to the football game tonight. Speaking of sports, we're going to check out two boys that played for the Chicago Mission hockey team. I've been playing hockey for nine years now. I started out at Midwest Training and Ice Center. Hi, uh, we play for the Chicago Mission, which is a AAA hockey team out of Chicago. We practice three times a week. Uh, usually we have to do, they have a room in our rink for us to do uh, high school stuff because usually we don't have time to do it at home. Over the weekends, we usually go out of town, probably go to like Michigan and Buffalo. Usually those are like the big two. It's different because they, we have to go like travel all the time. We don't have breaks like they do. And the competition uh, is heavier for us compared to high school hockey. A lot of hard work, a lot of help along the way from coaches and Midwest Ice Rink, of course, that's where we both started playing. I have two ex-NHLers as coaches, so that's I know, it's really fortunate to have that experience in your journey on the ice. Teammates push us, and everyone pushes us every day at the rink. Yeah, just really fortunate to be playing at this level and have the opportunities we have. Keep up the good work, boys. Now we're going to go check out some fun fall activities. Kriegel's Pumpkin Patch was the first ever pumpkin patch in Northwest Indiana. They offer hay rides out to the patch to pick your own pumpkin. They have barnyard activities that include pumpkin peak slide, barrel train ride, and pedal cars, along with a petting zoo and a corn maze. Their farmer's market offers fresh made kettle corn, and, along with pumpkin, salted caramel, and apple cider donuts. The market also carries a variety of different items. 
General admission fees for the barnyard activities are $8 for children and $6 for adults Friday through Sunday and $6 for children and $4 for adults Monday through Thursday. If you are interested in these fun fall activities, make sure to check Kriegel's out. Make sure to go check that out. And lastly, let's go check out some Finish the Lyric TikTok edition. Hey LC, I'm Charmin Janowski and I'm back again with another Finish the Lyric, but this time it's TikTok edition. Why are you so obsessed with me? Boy, I want to know. Let me show you what you're missing. Paradise. Let me show you what you're missing. Paradise. Bar the dump truck in the flesh. Here comes the cootie squad. You should shut up, Heather. Sorry, Heather. Look who's with her. Oh my god. Dang, dang. Martha dump truck in the flesh. Here comes the coolie squad. You should shut up, Heather. Sorry, Heather. Look who's with her. Oh, oh my, my god. god. <laughs> and she gonna shake it like a red nose. Like 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 a like a red nose. She don't shake it like a red nose. Like a red nose. Wow, you guys really know your TikToks. And before we go, Lake Central Theater Company is presenting The Yellow Boat. They had a performance last night, tonight, and tomorrow, all starting at 7 p.m. Go check them out. Auditions for the St. Baldrick Talent Show Fundraiser are November 8th. If you're interested, contact Alexa Colonia. And that's it for today, LC. I'm Taylor Zazowski. And I'm Greta Siegert. We'll, we'll see, see you next week. week.